Hi, this is Hebe, and this time I'm going to talk about adjustment layers and how to handle them when you're working with layouts. Because if you have used adjustment layers and you've tried to move your photo over to your already in progress layout, you may have noticed something happen that's undesirable. So let's just talk about what's going on here with adjustment layers. Let's first I have to get one. So I'm going to want to turn this picture into black and white. I'm going to use gradient map as the adjustment layer and for that I need to have black as my foreground and white as my background. So I'm clicking on the little half black, half white arrow to get the adjustment layer and choosing gradient map. Now you notice my picture has turned black and white. I would just click OK at this point. Looks great. Now let's say I wanted to get this now over to my layout. So let me get my layout here active here so you can see it. Let's say I just use the move tool and I click from here and move oops, that didn't work. Hang on. <laughs> don't pay no attention to what I just did. <laughs> so I'm gonna click from here over here and with the move tool move over here and you'll notice when I drop it now the picture's in color, it's lost, it's black and white. So that didn't work. Let me get rid of that and go back to here and show you why that really didn't work. Because is you'll notice the thumbnail here is in color still. The picture's in black and white, but that's because the adjustment layer is a layer in of itself, pretty much. It's making a change to the layer below it, but it's not a permanent change. It hasn't made your photo black and white. It just makes it look black and white because of this adjustment here. See, I can actually turn the visibility of it off, and you'll see the main picture go back to black, or to color, rather. So, the next thing you think to yourself, okay, well, that's all fine. I'll take both layers and move them over. And that's, you are able to do that by, you know, click on one, hold down shift, click on the other one. Now they're both selected. Click and drag over here. However, now look what's happened. Now you've got this adjustment layer. The funny thing about adjustment layers is it doesn't normally affect just one layer below it. It'll affect all the layers below it. So there's a couple of ways to fix this. The quick one is if you had just done what I had done here, I would click on this gradient map layer and choose Control and G, which would also be Command and G if you're in the Mac version of this or if you're in Photoshop, you'll need to hold down Control Alt G or Command Option G. That's the creates this little cl clipping group which I've talked about before, which tells it now this layer only works with the layer directly below it. So you're back to what you want. You could also have just, let me um, undo that here, you can also right click and choose merge, oops, hang on, well they're both selected. If you had just the gradient map selected, you would choose right click and choose merge down. If they're still both selected, like I just told you, just choose merge layers and that will basically put those two together. So now it's back to having the black and white copy just going on the photo layer. But uh, let me get rid of this layer here and go back to the original photo and show you a couple of things about it. Hang on here. Back to here. Okay. So you could all do the same thing before you even drag the photo over. However, I would suggest, highly suggest, that you save this as a PSD to keep your color copy um, available to you if you need to change it. But after you've saved that, then you can even merge layers here or the same thing if you have that selected you can right click choose merge down and um, these things by the way are usually in I think the layers yeah menu here too so if you can't figure out how to right click or whatever you'll see they're they're available to you here now if you wanted to do something let's say you were doing hue and saturation with this it's sort of the same situation I would choose hue and saturation and then desaturate and okay so now I've got the um, adjustment layer but with hue and saturation especially you don't have to do it as an adjustment layer so let me delete that layer back out here I'm going to drag it to the trash and show you that if you wanted to make this permanent change immediately without having to merge down or everything you can go into the enhance menu and enhance menu by the way is only in elements I believe these uh, human saturation is under the image menu when you're in, El in Photoshop. But enhance, you go to adjust color, adjust human saturation. Now watch, we don't have that adjustment layer pop up, 
and you'll notice not only is it changing here but it's changing your thumbnail as well which shows you that's a permanent change if you click OK then it's just a single layer and you can drag it over like you normally would but you don't have the mask to play with um, which is kind of a helpful thing especially if you're doing spot color you want that mask to work with possibly but it saves you a step I guess of the merging down just be sure that you s don't save over your color version because you'll probably want to keep a color version of your photo and then you just drag this over just like you would any other single element so I'm CB and I hope that's explained a little bit about how to work with adjustment layers when you need to move things over to layouts thanks for watching